the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D, live on Team GRF TV. I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guys Beast on and Yo. Ruby Chibi, Season 3, Episode 4, Green Passengers. We got two skits. Let's just get right to the business. And our title is Kit, Green Passengers. The homies, the homies, Big Marty and Big Mike are in the building. And, and they've got plans. You want to know what those plans are, children? They're trying to trick humans to get them in the car so they can eat them. It's like, it seems like a great plan on paper. And when I sit up here and I legitimately think about Mike and Marty's plan, like, yo, I straight agree. That it's like, if you can trick people to thinking you're not grim and thinking you're human guys, just sitting up here chilling, just looking for a ride and just want to have a good time, have a good time, you can fool humans. They're real stupid. So, so I get the through line. I get the through line of we trying to trick humans to get them in a spot where they can't get, where they get hemmed up. And then we eat them. Because I'm like, yo, bear wolves got to eat too, pimp. You know what it is? So, so, Mike and Marty, I'm with you. See, here's not what I'm with, though. Your execution. Approach. I love the approach. We just spent 30 seconds talking about your approach and how I agree with it. The dismount was just bad. Because you really honestly thought you was going to trick people. Because Team Ruby rolled up and they like, Hey, yo, what's up? We're human guys just looking for a ride and want to have a good time. Have a good time. The ladies of the ladies of Team Ruby are not falling for this anyway, and I can't blame them because, you know what I'm saying, like, at best, at best, your costumes were all right. But in this, though, in, in this exchange, where were we? Oh, oh, wait, I remember. I was giving the boys Mike and Marty bad props on, you know, trying to dress up like humans to eat them. Team Ruby pulls up, they don't fall for the plan, and we were about to get to the magical twist of something that I appreciate. Now, remember, I got you, I got you. This is actually a through line to the beginning of the first episode of the season, where ultimately at the end of Road Trip, they rob a bank because they sit up here and ask Mike and Marty where the bank is, okay, they can direct them, and then that gets into the part where they try to eat them. I'm like, I didn't really think Ruby Chibi was ever really going to go for continuity, but we, we did have um that we... That we worship the great one, so technically continuity in this universe has been attempted before. But it's great to see that through line to uh, back to road trip. So I do wonder if more episodes this season are really going to, you know, have those through lines to ultimately what happened at the end of road trip. So it'll be great and interesting to see that. Um, seeing all we're still in this same skip, there are more things. Is that yo, Mike and Marty dropped the ball the first time, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's like yo. Not all plans are going to go the way you want them to the first time. And that's fair. Fair assessment. Sometimes that this is how it is, right? However, boss lady pull up. And they try to run the same game on her. Marty is sitting up here trying to tell Mike, like, yo, bruh, um, no. 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 No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just, just don't do this because that's boss lady. But Cinder and her nefarious plan and more of the through line through road trip is she offers them candy. And you know what I'm saying? Mike, like, bruh, she got candy, fam. For they like, like, again, I, I talked about this in the first episode. Let me just put a quick reminder out there. Just because someone offers you candy don't mean she get in the car. I'm just saying. That's just not a thing you should do in any way. That if if hot woman offers you candy, just be like, you're hot, but just no. Just just no. No. No, candy, no. You can get candy a lot safer than some random strange woman pulling up you like, hey, you want candy? But that works out as indeed as you does because Cinder, you know, being Cinder, sits up her in less than a fairy plan of how I'm kidnapping people. And then, you know, on the same flip, on the same flip, Marty Lane, yeah, indeed, indeed, we on the same flip. Cinder, of course, uncovers this, kicks them both out the car, speeds off, and calls them losers. Oh, but we're not done. Oh, and a bonus, they try to sit up here and, and, and trick John and Ren, and it's like, you know, John, he fall for anything. He like, yo, you want to roll? Yeah, he's like, yo, you want to roll with us, cuz? Yeah, sure. Ren like, no, just don't do it. Just don't do it, right? Just don't do what it is that you think you're doing because you shouldn't do it, all right? Our other skit of this episode, Punished. Now, I don't know how to really go with this because the end of the skit is was make the whole skit work. I didn't see it coming. I just thought it was just more of of the mother uh, of the daughter 
and father tag team pun duo just doing pun stuff. They've done this over the years in Ruby TV of, you know, puns here, puns there. It's like, you know, Yang puns, hey, Yang puns, and they pun back and forth. Like, remember dad jokes? But regardless, all of these puns have reached their fever pitch. I'm like, even even the Ice Queen gets in on this. Um, Blake is hearing none of this. E e even even not even supporting the other half of of the true ship of Ruby Bumblebee. You know what it is. She had to sit up here like, yo, I can't take none of these puns, fam. I got to go peace out. And then she gets punned for that. But even given this, when puns have become too much, here comes Ruby to save us all by just simply saying that, yo. Friends don't let friends pun, pun, doc. For real, swear to God. Like, you sit up here and you, you let your people, like, yo, puns are cool. But you got to pick your place. You've got to know when and where. And it's like, if you pun in too much, you probably need some pun help, pimp. You probably need to get yourself together. Go see someone about your pun addiction to puns. Because puns just don't affect us. They affect you and everyone around you. So, be sure that you're being careful of... What you punning about? You know what I'm saying? Like, like puns are good, but in moderation, as in anything. Like, you don't need more than one plate at the buffet. Maybe you don't need that extra piece of candy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that thing you thought you were going to buy, maybe you should think about it. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of that, regardless, friends don't let friends pun pun. You hear me? And friends don't let friends ruin the fun of puns. I think that's probably what I want to say. But, yo. Another episode of Ruby Chibi Completo. Um, um, really quick, um, spectacular. Spectacular. I love that word. The one on triple the G L D quick kind of telling the building. Like, you know, she just joined me for the end of this, so you know what I'm saying? I just figured I can get a spectacular in there. Can, can I get it one more time, baby? Spectacular. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna turn this into a video. Um, we got more Ruby Chibi for you later. I figured since we ain't doing nothing, we could do this thing really quick. You want to do a thing real quick? What are we doing? We're going to do a thing. You want to do a thing? I'm like, you waiting on somebody to come do a thing. Penny, where are you going? We're going to do a thing. A thing we've been meaning to do for months. So, you want to do a thing with me? I'm scared. No, no, we're going to do a thing. We're going to do a thing. You know what? I think I got enough space to do multiple things. You want to do multiple things? Maybe. 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 I, I can't get a hard yes on that. I can't get a hard yes on that, baby. No. I don't know what we're doing, so. We're, we're going to do a thing. See, we have to learn to trust each other. This is this is what we're right now. We're in a, we're in a part of our relationship where we're building more trust. I just need you to trust me. We're going to do a thing. I'm going to go get the thing. We're going to do the thing. Can we do the thing? Okay. All right, cool. The one on Triple the G-O-D. Queen Cottontail. Another episode of Ruby Chibi in the books. Um, Spectacular. Spectacular! Yes! We're going to turn this into a video. And when we come back from this commercial message, we're going to do a thing. How about we do a thing? One on triple the GLD, Queen Cottontail, um, Penny knocking over things, and Lizzie over there laying down. So I'd like to thank you for joining us for another installment of Triple the Guys Peace Zone. And like I said, we'll be right back after these commercial messages. <laughs>